Welcome back beautiful people. Here we are yet again with another video. Today we're going back to our um, toy collection if you will. Back to the 90s and the early thousands, maybe even 80s now. 90s. 90s, yeah. yeah. When McDonald's and Burger King and everybody had the best toys of the land. Not these stupid little ones that they keep coming out with that keep breaking. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about Burger King today. And today, as you may have read from the description, we have Hunchback of Notre Dame toys back in the day. So, I think we should save this one for last. What do you okay, think? Okay, yeah. And then go from there. Yeah. Which one do you want to do first? You can do this one. Alright, let's do that one. So, here we have first, we have Hugo. Ah. Which is the gargoyle from the Hunchback in Notre Dame. But wait... It's even better. He is... Oh, a puppet? A puppet. So you can put your hand in there and... It's kind of hard the way that you have to put it in there. Because it's like literally I'm rock and rolling inside. <laughs> but it, it's very difficult. So, but Hugo, the gargoyle from Hunchback, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah. Woo! Who we got next? Who we got next? Let's go with this old guy. This is Phobus. Oh. Phobus. Okay. I know it looks like Phoebus, but that O-E makes an O sound. Ah. Trust the teacher. Trust the teacher. Trust the teacher. So we got Phobus here. In his, my gosh, I remember. These are so well done with the hard plastic and everything. But they were a choking hazard. Yeah, choking hazard, smoking hazard. I call it survival <laughs> the fittest. Anyways, we have Phobus in his all his armor and with his cape that you can actually take off. That's probably what the choking hazard was. <laughs> and completely posable. Won't stay that way because even though he's plastic everywhere else on his armor, the rest of him is kind of dollish and stuffed. So, here we go. We have Phobus and... Uh, can't grab his sword, but you can make it look like he's holding on to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm creative like that. That is good. Next, we're going to go with Esmeralda, uh, which is one of our other, our second main character of this uh, movie, which kind of interesting. Get... Oh, there we go. All her hair was tucked <laughs> up in there. So here we go. I guess of the 20 years. Of yep, her legs are. <laughs> Sorry. I was wondering why the legs weren't movable. And well. Uh, they're fused together with plastic. YouTube don't take my video down. It's a doll. I'm sorry. <laughs> but as you can see she has her cape as well. Her hair is flowing. Uh, and she's wearing her typical outfit. From the Hunchback of Notre gypsy Dame. Outfit. Gypsy outfit. Thank you. And for the most part she is plastic. Except. Or. She is uh, stuffed except for her hands and her head and her feet and actually pretty much all of her is plastic and not stuffed. So there's three. Now our main character and I think this was actually the hardest one to find from Hunchback of Notre Dame from the to BK Toy Collection because oh, yeah. he was the most popular one. Oh yeah, because he's the main character. He is the main character. Yeah, it's like you couldn't find the Buzz Lightyear or Woody's very easily with that Toy Story van mm -hmm. that came out. But anyways, we have uh, uh, Quasimodo from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Uh, he is mainly fluff except for his uh, boots and most of his arms and his head. Uh, but he is like dollish like the other ones. And he can, you can move him. He can dun 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 Anyways, so there we go. Quasimodo, the BK doll. So overall, let's go through real quick. We have... Esmeralda, Quasimoto. Wait, wait, hold on. Does he have a? No, no, he has something in his back here. I don't know what it is though. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just a hole. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. We have. Uh... Oh, I almost heard that. Okay, so once again we have Esmeralda, Quasimoto, Phobus, and we have Hugo, the gargoyle who is a. Puppet. Not the easiest thing to do, is it? No. It's no, not. not at all. So, anyways, as always with shorter video today, but still great four items that you could uh, get from Amazon, right? 
Amazon, yeah. They're, they're on Amazon. So, as always, make sure you like the video. Subscribe. And make sure you comment down below. Which of the four do you remember the most? Did you have any of these when you were uh, younger, back when they came out? And, you know, what do you think of them? Do you think they were a waste of money, or do you think they're pretty cool collector's items? I think they're pretty cool collector's mm -hmm. items, in my opinion. Yeah. Easily, easily to be played with by kids. Yeah. So, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, my friends, check out that Instagram page that we both have. Uh, and check it out for the newest news and happenings of the Firefighter 92 channel. So, until then, have yourself a great Disney day, and we will see you later. Bye.